Hey everyone, April here, and today I'm going to be showing you my winter wash and go routine. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by co-washing and I'm using my favorite conditioner at the moment which is the Suave Humectant Moisture. I used this conditioner in my previous wash and go routine so I've been using this conditioner for months now because I just love it. My hair is always so soft and it makes detangling so much easier. <music> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and begin to detangle my hair and I like to detangle um, my hair in two sections. So I'm going to add a lot of conditioner. I use a lot of conditioner when I am finger detangling and I just go in small sections and gently finger detangle um, and add more conditioner if I need or more water just to make the process easier. This is one of the most important steps when it comes to my wash and go routine now. Um, I make sure that my hair is thoroughly detangled because this is where I am defining my curls so I don't have to do it once I'm out of the shower. So I make sure that there are no tangles, no knots, and all that jazz and make sure that my hair is super defined and really soft. All right, so once I'm done, I like to go through a second time, but in bigger sections, um, just to make sure that I have all of the knots and tangles out. Um, like I said earlier, this is the most important step when it comes to my wash and go, so I make sure that my hair is really, really, really detangled. Alright, so here you can see the difference with the side that is detangled versus not detangled. Alright, so I'm going to pin that side up and I am going to repeat the finger detangling process. Alright, now that I'm all done, I'm going to go ahead and rinse out most of the conditioner, about 75%, but I'm going to keep a little just to act as my leave-in. So now I'm going to add some coconut oils to seal in the moisture. Okay, so I'm going to split my hair into four sections and the next product that I'm going to add is the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle. With this product, you only need a little bit. I used about a quarter size amount of product for this one section and I'm just going to smooth the product onto my hair. I'm not going to rake it because raking in the product produces frizz for me. So I found that the best way to add the product is to use the praying hands method and just smooth it on. Next, I'm going to add some Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel and I'm adding this product for hold because the Shea Moisture Gel Souffle does not give my hair hold, it only gives my hair definition and shine. So the um, Eco Styler Gel gives my hair hold and I'm also going to add some um, gel to the sections that I know is prone for frizziness. Um, so just to prevent that, I'm going to add a little bit more gel to certain sections. All right, and then I'm gonna take just a little bit more gel and continue to smooth it onto my hair. All right, and then I'm just gonna pin that section back and continue on to the next section, just adding a little bit of the Shea Moisture Gel Souffle. And I'm going to add some Eco Styler Gel to the sections that I know um, usually frizzes up. 
and continue to add or continue to smooth on the gel onto that section of hair. And I'm just gonna repeat those steps all over my head, adding the gel souffle, smoothing it on, and then adding some eco style gel to some sections that need more attention and continue to smooth the gel onto my hair using the prayer hands method and yeah All right, so once I'm done, I'm gonna take two pumps of the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum and apply that to one half of my hair. And I'm gonna take two more pumps and apply that to the other half. So I like to add some gel to my edges just to sleek them down and make it more uniform. So here I'm just adding a little bit more gel just to prevent frizz and flyaways. So these are what my curls are looking like after I applied all of the product. All right, so I let my hair air dry for about an hour while I put my makeup and my clothes on. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair on high speed and medium heat. Um, I got my blow dryer from Walmart. It's a Remington blow dryer and I got it for around $25. Alright, so now I'm going to take my concentrator nozzle and really focus on my roots because my roots are not 100% dry yet. So I'm going to go ahead and dry my roots, but I'm also going to stretch my hair so that I can get most of my length back. So to get rid of the gel cast, I just like to add a little bit of coconut oil to my hands and place it all over my hair. I'm basically putting my hair in a ponytail and when I have my hair in a ponytail, I like to pull on my curls um, and like basically put coconut oil all over my hair because that helps to get rid of the gel cast for me. Um, just tugging and pulling on my curls. And once I'm done, my hair is really soft. It doesn't have that hard, crunchy feeling. My hair is soft and it's very fluffy. So that is a cool little trick or tip to help get rid of your um, gel cast when it comes to your wash and goes. <music> All right, so now I'm just gonna continue to play with my hair, separate any curls that clump together. And um, this is pretty much it. These are the results of my winter wash and go. Uh, my hair is super fluffy. Um, this is definitely going to be my routine into the summer as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please share this video with anyone that may find it helpful. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Would you, would you, would you, would you, I'm trying to make it right girl